Hey Worldview Seminar, this is my review of a film, and this is for the Worldview Secular Existentialism. The film I'm reviewing is Blade Runner 2049. So the film follows this character played by Ryan Gosling named Officer K. He is this um, police officer in the Los Angeles Police Department who um, is called a Blade Runner who's supposed to track down and um, quote unquote retire but actually kill these robots that are very human-like called replicants. Um, these replicants are made to be sort of like slaves to serve society in lower-end jobs and so humans don't have to do the work. Um, so, Officer K is doing his job, and he goes to kill a replicant played by Dave Boitista. Um, he kills him, and at his house he finds this box that has the remains of a replicant. So, he then realizes that replicants can reproduce, which was thought to be impossible. So... He goes on a search to find this child that was produced by a human and a replicant. In his search, he meets this character that's the head of this corporation that makes these replicants named Wallace. And he has a personal assistant named Love. Um, Wallace wants to make as many replicants as possible to fill out society. And um, Officer K goes to search for the truth behind this child and um love follows him um he then in his search finds um a now retired blade runner played by um harrison ford named rick deckard rick deckard used to be a blade runner and hunt down replicants himself but he found an advanced prototype replicant named rachel whom he um, reproduced with to make this child. Um, then they fight love and whatever, and then he, um, Rick then meets his child. So, um, the worldview existentialism is seen in this film, first off by the whole idea of existentialism, a part of existentialism being that you are what you do. We see that in the film with Officer K, as he's a Blade Runner, his job is very physical. Um, it's very materialistic that he kills these robots. And um, other careers in the film are also very physical, like farming or, um, being a um, sex worker, stuff like that. Um, the film, we can also see the idea of purpose, and the humans sort of act like this. They symbolically represent God, and the replicants are humans almost. Um, the humans who symbolize God, they are supposed to. They give the replicants their purpose and their sense of meaning and control and how they're supposed to act and what they're supposed to do in their lives as the Blade Runners are sort of like their um, warriors almost, killing any replicants who misbehave. Um, then you can also see that Officer K in the film decides that the purpose given to him by the humans isn't what he wants. He tries to find things to satisfy him, such as his job or his holographic girlfriend or um, other physical things. But he tries to find, he finds purpose in searching for this child. He um, he gives himself purpose by finding the child, um, 
the whole idea of being an existentialist is also seen with the replicants. There's like this whole replicant group that's built on trying to um, rebuild society, but with replicants, that they have a better sense of how the world is supposed to work compared to the humans, and that the humans are tyrannical and control their lives. Um, let's see. So, um, in his, another scene is seen in the idea of purpose and trying to find truth in life is seen with um, Officer K where he finds this scientist sort of doctor lady that's the ones who she makes for the replicants, so they seem more genuine, have personalities and stuff. And then um, you find out later in the film that this scientist lady has been like secluded her whole life, and that she is the child that is the replicant human um, offspring. Um, that's another thing that's relevant in the film is the idea that um, there's things to life that are really important, such as feeling, and has a very narcissistic idea of um, being important and what you feel and your experiences give you your purpose. And we can see that Rick Deckard, the retired Blade Runner, it seems like he went on a similar similar path to as Officer K, and that's why he secluded himself. He is, seems very lost and confused in his search. Um, I think the filmmakers did a really good job of showing this worldview. Um, in the sci-fi element, I think having the, um, replicant and human dynamic is really good. Um, I think having not much of a main villain is pretty interesting. A lot of films nowadays often have main villains. Um, I mean, love is kind of a villain throughout the film, but, um, she's not in there for most of it. Um, the filmmakers include the director, which is Dennis Villeneuve, and cinematography by Roger Deakin. The screenplay is by Hampton Fancher and Michael Green, along with Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford. The, there's the replicant played by Dave Bautista at the beginning of the film, and Jared Leto plays the Wallace character who's in charge of the corporation, and um, Robin Wright who plays Officer Case Superior. Um, I think other worldviews that are seen in this film would I think you can see sort of the idea of Kierkegaardian ethics that there's other things that are important in life and that there's a God that gives you purpose. I think this can be seen by the humans who represent God that they they know what's best and that they have the answers to life on how you're supposed to live. And I think it's reinforced by Joy, who is Officer K's holographic girlfriend. She is trying to convince him that um, he has purpose and that the humans know what they did in creating him. And that um, in this memory that he has that is connected to the child, mm -hmm. Um, that he is a human that he 
is special, that he matters, and that he has purpose just like everything else does, like she does. Um, later in the film, towards the very end of it, we can see the idea of um, relationships being important as Rick Decker um, meets his daughter, who's that secluded scientist memory lady. Um, it's, he puts his hand on the glass and um, just starts crying, and then the film ends. It really shows that relationships matter and are important. And um, um, anyways, that's pretty much the, my review of the film. I would say if you enjoy sci-fi thriller sort of movies, you definitely enjoy this film. I would probably go back and watch the first one that focuses on Rick Deckard's character. Um, thank you for watching my film review, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.